Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen, and today we are working with JavaScript to solve the interesting problem from lead code problem 435 titled non-overlapping interval. Uh, JavaScript has some powerful features that make it an excellent language for tackling this problem. So the problem provides us with an array of intervals and we are tasked with defining the minimum number of intervals and we need to remove uh, to make the rest non-overlapping. It sounds a bit tricky, but don't worry, we will break it down together. So our approach here will be a classic example of greedy algorithm strategy, uh, a fundamental concept in computer science. Essentially, we will sort the uh, interval based on their end times and then iterate through the interval to find and remove any overlaps. So let's first uh, handle the base case. Uh, if mm, our interval array is empty, we return zero uh, as there are no intervals uh, to remove. Next, we will sort our interval array in uh, ascending order based on the end time uh, of each interval. In JavaScript, we can do this using the sort function. So with our interval sorted, we will uh, define a variable uh, previous interval end to keep track of the end of the previous interval and uh, another variable now removed to count the number of uh, interval we have removed. So we will start uh, pref interval at the end time of the first interval uh, and num removed to zero. So now comes the main part of our algorithm. So we will iterate through the interval starting from the second one. If the start time of the current interval is less than or equal to end time of the previous interval, that means we have an overlap. So we increment num removed. Uh, if there is no overlap, we just update uh, previous interval uh, and to the end time of the current interval. So let's uh, implement it in JavaScript. So if uh, interval length zero return null. Uh, interval sort a b a1 minus b1, so and position. And num removed, zero previous interval and will be interval zero one, so and position, and four i from one to interval interval uh, len plus plus if interval less than previous interval and num removed plus plus else yeah previous interval and equal interval i one and finally we return num of removed intervals yeah so this is our implementation let's run it for uh, this base test case. So test case, we have uh, yeah, one, two, two, three, three, four, and one, three, and you can see one, three is overlapping. Uh, so let's run it. So one overlapping interval is uh, one, three, so we remove it. We can visualize it. Yeah, so basically if we have like, uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, and here are one interval, here is second interval, third interval, and fourth interval is here. So uh, if we remove this one, so output should be one, we remove one. Uh, those intervals are non-overlapping intervals and we uh, have minimum number of removed. So that's removing this because for example, we can also remove those two and don't remove this one. So then we will have also non-overlapping, but uh, basically we need to uh, return minimum value and not uh, maximum. So uh, excellent. Let's run it for unsynthesized cases as well to verify the speed and uh, yes. So our implementation bit 83% with respect to memory, so all good. 
and with respect to runtime it's bit 27 percent but as you can see so uh, here are uh, solutions with 275 milliseconds and our is 274 so basically it's yeah almost the same i think on the next run it could give uh, another uh, result but yeah uh, so everything's were perfect uh, as you can see our javascript uh, solution passed all test cases even unseen ones so this uh, efficient solution uh, embodies the power of the greedy algorithm and its work impressive uh, so i hope uh, this walkthrough was helpful and has given you more confidence in tackling uh, similar problems so if you like this video please hit the thumbs up uh, and subscribe to the channel for more coding uh, problem workflows tutorials uh, like this and much more so remember if you have any doubts or question or you would like me to cover a specific problem or topic uh, leave a, a comment down below and most important keep practicing see you next time and happy coding